boy Young Chateau, man. What's going on, world? It's the big homie DJ JT the Donnie. Girl, Alana D. Bridget A.K.A. Miss Lil' Hey, I'm Tune in to Chi-Town. 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 Listening to Chi-Town. Urban Radio on UBM Jams. Chicago Urban Radio. Whoa. Goodness. This is a beautiful place. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have never, never in my life. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Yes, Where is the radio station? Yes, oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness, so many floors. <laughs> I have seen a building like this in Africa before. <laughs> But I wanted to get to talk to him, man, because I think a lot of people don't really know his backstory. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't really know right. who DJ so Ray is. So, who is Mr. DJ Ray? So, tell Inquiring us, man, how did, you like get started? how did you get started to this DJ thing? Man, um, it's a long story. Um, I, I, I'm i ex-military. Uh, when I was overseas, well, actually, when I was overseas, I used to always act like I can freestyle and stuff like that, and just like to have fun, man. I, I'm always that one that's that's out in the club talking shit and having a good time. Real, real. Um, started MCing when I was in Virginia. Uh, two Wheel Tuesdays. All the bikers out there on the East Coast know what I'm talking about, man. Shout out to all my Rough Rider family. Rough Riders, you, you know. Hey man, uh, VA Seven Cities. Uh, shout out to FBI, all, all the other bike clubs out there. But uh, I, I, I began to MC our Two Wheel Tuesdays, and yeah. I mean it was jumping, it was hot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, came back to Houston, and I, I really kind of sat back on the on the on the on the scene for a little bit and just chilled. And a real good friend of mine, I always pay homage where homage is due. Uh, DJ Takeover, okay. uh, the 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 collection DJs. Um, actually called me up and asked me say man uh I, I know you you going through some stuff right now you know I, i'm having a lot of issues you know at, at the clubs and stuff like that man come 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 on through and, and uh and, and roll with me bro I, i'll pay you to come be you know my security for the night okay like all right cool you know so i, I went through there and uh i did it uh was cool you know we did that for about two three months and then uh he got sick one day and like he could not talk at all we were at the red rooster and he was right so he looked over at me and they had like three parties i was like man give me the mic i got you i got you okay so uh, i started him seeing for him and, and and we got to a point to where i said say bro i, I want to do something for the birthdays he said bro. he couldn't say shit. you know what i'm saying yeah, so right, right. i uh i called the birthdays out of three old old women you know shout out to all them cougars out there but uh <laughs> they came <laughs> They came on, they sat down, I talked to the bartender, the bartender poured me three shots, four. Uh, took them over to the birthday girls and, and, and I, I told them this story. I said, how many of you ladies ever heard of hard bodies? All them old schools right? boy, what you know about hard bodies? Da, 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 talking that shit. I said, well look, every Thursday night, y'all come on up to hard bodies. They turn hard bodies into soft bodies. They let the big boys get up there and dance. My name is DJ Pound Cake, AKA, the pound cake pimp you understand what i'm saying okay and, and, and I, I had this whole skit lined up and uh, I, I say so what i'm gonna do right now and i'm i'm gonna break y'all down with a little bit of this pound cake this duncan hines right here you understand what i'm saying yeah. and, and they were like okay like, okay okay they got crunk take over put on some real slow r&b type shit you know what i'm saying okay i walked up to this one old lady I act like i was for the dance on her and she just oh my god i stopped i said man i ain't gonna do that i'm lying to y'all but what i will do is sing happy birthday to you ladies I sung happy birthday to them and ever since then T and, and the rest of the staff up there has like say bro when you you gotta come through you gotta come through you know what I mean uh that led into me meeting up with Miss Fire uh aka God Mama Sauce uh and she uh she she really took me under her wing and got me in the radio man uh take over was hooking me up on the on the DJ inside teaching me how to DJ she taught me how to do radio okay. and I've been doing that for about the past what 13 years now, man. Okay, so let's go to a time machine real quick. When did you know this is something that you really wanted to do? When was that moment, and how did that moment go about for you? Because for me as a DJ, I knew I wanted to do it as soon as I could control the crowd. You know what I'm saying? So you can call me controlling, you can call me whatever you want, 
But that's what I got hooked right can, there. Can I be honest with you? What's up? Like, that was that was one of the first philosophies that TakeOver taught me was controlling the crowd. And in all honesty, I really did not understand what he meant until a couple of years into the game when I started doing gigs by myself. And, and it, it, it's a science to DJ. And a lot of people think we just get up there and we play what we want to play or, or, or we get up there and whatever y'all come and ask, we're going to play. No, nah, it, it's, it's a science to this. If I'm in a bounce mix like I just played, yeah. okay, I can do, uh, 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 depending on the crowd, if it's a Louisiana crowd, I can probably get away with about a 15, 20-minute bounce mix. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. May, maybe longer if I hit them with the right ones and I start off right with old school. You understand know what I'm saying? But if, if, if I'm...